Okay, so let's have a quick recap what we have discussed in the last session. In the last session, we have just given an introduction about the Azure. I have given my introduction and I have taken your question related to your career, whichever you have asked. In today's session, we are going to learn about how to create our Azure account. But before starting out this particular topic, anyone wants to ask any more questions, you can please quickly raise your hand. Yes, Naveen. Uh, have you created the new WhatsApp group which we are about to create? I of course I didn't invite any 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 group, new group, anything. Related to which thing you're talking about, new group, Naveen? You told that uh, you are going to create a new group for the this uh, complete uh, 276 or whatever the group we have, right? New WhatsApp group where we can uh, see the, all the links and everything. No, the group we already have one community that which I have already shared in the yesterday session. That everyone will be there. Okay. okay, fine. I have shared that particular community link. If you are not there, you can please join that particular community. Okay. There is no separate one we are going to create. This is the only one we have it. Only for 276 bats, the one only community we have. Okay, Ravi? Yeah, I will try. Thank you. Yes, Sarish. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, uh, I have a uh, five plus years of experience in Windows uh, Server Administrator. Can I serve in that uh, Azure? Yes, you can do that. If you uh, I last session also I said that to work on cloud platform, there is no prerequisite is required. That's a basic Linux knowledge is required. If you have that's good. If you don't have, that's a part of our course content. So whatever a previous experience you have, it doesn't make any difference with that. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. Yes, Deepak. Yes, Deepak, you have raised your hand to ask your question. You need to unmute yourself. We are on mute right now. Yes, Deepak. I just want to know how I download the uh, training videos. There is no option to download the recordings. You can't download the recordings. You can only download the notes. Okay. You can access the recordings via mobile app also if you are using Android phone or you can access the recording by using our websites. Okay. I can access but I cannot download. No. Lifetime access you have, you can't download. No option for download. The only thing you have an offline option in your mobile app. If you are using Android phone, you can download. In your mobile app, you can see offline. But like if you know that like in YouTube, we have an option of offline videos. Same way here also you have an offline video option. So in your mobile, it is going to download just to offline view. It's, you can't transfer those offline views anywhere. If you are going to change your mobile, it's removed from that mobile. Okay. Okay. Like that offline option you have. Anyone have any more question? No question. So let's start learning about how to create our Azure account. To create your Azure account, you can use any of your personal email ID. It can be a Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, any of your personal email ID you can use. Make sure you're not going to use your official email, any of your personal email IDs you can use. First of all, to create your Azure account, you need to go to this particular link, which is mentioned in my PPT. You can go, go to that particular link. 
and then click on start free. So once you click on start free, then here you will get option to click on create one. If you already have an account, you can directly enter email ID. If you don't have, then you need to click on create one. So once you click on create one, you need to enter your email address. I have already told you it can be any of your personal email ID you can enter here. So once you enter your email ID, you need to click on next. After click on next, you need to enter a password. You can enter a password of any of minimum eight characters password you can enter here. So once you enter the password, you again need to click on next. Now, here you need to verify your email address. Whenever you are entering the password, click on next, you will get an OTP. One OTP you will receive on your email, that particular OTP you need to enter here. And then you need to click on next to verify your email address. Now again, click on once you enter the OTP, click on next that particular email ID is going to verify. Now, here you are able to see this is the old thing which we have it. Now we have 55 services which are coming under free and now we are getting a credit of 15,800 in Indian rupees for first 30 days. So don't, don't worry about this thing. Now, so here you need to first select your country. You are from which specific country? Your first name. If you have a middle name, you can enter here. And not, if you don't have, leave it. And then you need to enter last name. Here you will automatically get your email ID because in previous step we have verified. So system will automatically pick your email address. And once you scroll down, you need to enter your phone number. So in previous step, we have verified our email address. Now we are going to verify our phone number. You only need to enter the phone number. You don't need to enter the country code. This clearly mentioned from their side. And then to verify your mobile number, you have two options. One is text me, other one is call me. So whichever the option you are going to select, based on that option, they will give you the OTP. And that particular OTP, you need to enter to verify your mobile. So first you need to verify your email address, then you need to verify your mobile number. And now you need to enter your address. This is important. Azure is very strict for these addresses. You need to enter the exact same address which is mentioned in your bank account. Because to create your Azure account, you need to enter your card details here. Your debit card or credit card. You need to enter here. So whatever the address you are going to mention, make sure the card, whichever you are going to use for that card, whatever the address is given here, that same address you need to enter here. Now I'll just give you one example also. Let's take example, we in our bank statement, it is written as flat number four. No, no, sorry. Normally, we are writing like this, flat number four. But in our bank statement, it is mentioned as flat four. So for us, this is correct. But in bank, they have mentioned like this. So for Azure, this is correct. So the best practice for this one is take a note, log into your mobile app, sorry, banking app or from mobile or from website 
from wherever you want to comfortable login it your bank then copy the address and then enter here if your address in one single line enter in line one if they have multiple lines you can use line two or line three also and then here we have city state and then postal code because postal code means pen code so whatever the address you have you need to enter here and then you can check these check boxes if you want to read their agreement you can read that and then click on next now once you click on next here you need to enter your card details now you can enter any of the card you can use here a debit card or credit card but make sure you can use visa or master it is not supporting any other card other than visa or master card in india few people have rupee card also it does not support rupee card So make sure you have Visa or Master Card. Now, by default in India, international transactions are disabled. To create your account, you need to enable international transactions. Not much, just for two rupees you can enable because to whenever you are going to enter car details, they will deduct two rupees from your account and the two rupees also will get refund in three to five days. Usually we will get refund in one to two hours, but they are saying that we get refund in three to five days. So make sure you are going to enable the international transactions for debit card or credit card, whichever you are going to use. Then you need to enter your name card number, expiry date, and CV. Once you enter these details, you will get an OTP again, or if you are from India, then definitely for every transaction, you will get an OTP or from other country, they will deduct some amount from your account. If you are from US, they'll deduct $1, and that particular amount you will get a refund in three to five days and once your account is getting verified this is your this is how your account looks like when you log in first time now here you will see something called subscription so click on subscription and you will get one subscription called free trial now Free trial means that you get a credit of 15,800 Indian rupees or 200 US dollars you will get. If you get this free trial subscription, definitely you will get. But make sure to create your account. If you already have an account, make sure you are not going to use the same email address because with the same email address you can't create your account again don't use the same mobile number if you already have account don't use the same card if you are going to use same card same mobile number they will identify and they will not give you the credit of 15,800 rupees or 200 us dollar you will not get the credit then in that case directly you will come to the pay as you go subscription and that can be your paid one. So if you already have an account, make sure you are going to use another email address, another mobile number, and another card, which was used earlier. Don't use the same. Now, from last few months, what actually going to happen is right now you are able to see the name as free trial. Actually, this is the name of the subscription free trial with the help of that we can identify 
at 15,800 credit or $200 we got. But from last few months, what happened with my students is they got free trial subscription, but the name was something else here. Here, name was something else. It was written as some Azure's under uh, your subscription. So this is happening. So how you can identify if your subscription name is different? Because subscription name can be any name. I can change the subscription name anytime. Now let me log into my account. Just a minute. Wrong. I'm able to log into my Azure account. Now, here I'm able to see subscription. So click on subscription. This is the name of my subscription, Azure underscore subscription. It can be any name of your subscription. Don't worry about it. You want to change, you can change also. Here we have rename option. So if you want to change, you can change here. Now here, you can see in my account, it is pay as you go offer because I don't have any free tier for this particular account. My account, no, nothing. I have free tier. So here you will get offer as free tier. So if your subscription name is different, this is happening it with my students in previous batches. So if you happen with you also, you'll get something else name. So here also you can verify offer as free tier. Here it was mentioned as offer as free tier. Yes, you'll get that 15,800 or $200 you will get accounted. So this is more important for you guys. So once your account is ready, please check. And one more thing, whenever you do anything in the Azure, automatically you will get a notification. Like I have some bill pending, that's why I got a notification here. So whatever you are going to do, whenever you have a credit of 15,800, whatever you create any resource, they'll automatically start giving you the notification also. So with that notification, you will get information how much credit is left for you. So you can get information. You don't need to every time come to your subscription and check here. You can easily get the information so this is the much this is much of bill by pending from my side these last two bills so this is how you can create your Azure account now any question anyone have regarding this account creation please let me know Yes, sir. You can mute. Yes, you can ask a question. I wanted to Your voice is not clear, Chana. It's getting cracking. Stop. 
still not able to yes now able to hear you properly okay. yes now able uh, it's a debit card working for the azure yes okay. you can use debit just card i wanted debit. to know uh, the debit card yes debit card and okay. credit card both are working and just okay one more question okay. identify my um, uh, my balance account balance uh, i want to check the my uh, re register mobile number email id or uh, debit card no, i didn't understand your question what you're trying to do uh for example you uh if my is how to identify that uh, my mobile number is already with the azure id means to create your azure account it is mandatory to provide a mobile number yes mobile number email id and uh, debit card credit card detail whatever we have correct yes we need to provide it's mandatory okay 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 got Yes, Sankram, you can unmute. Yeah, actually, you told that uh, actually while uh, means creating the account, actually that uh, either it is debit card or, the, or it is a credit card, that mm. international transaction should be on, right? Yes, correct. By default, it is disabled in India. Yes, yes. By default. Uh, so we need to call to the customer again and it should be enabled, right? Otherwise, it will not work. You don't need to call to customer again. You can enable by using your banking app, mobile app also. Or they are from their website, internet banking also, you can do that. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Log in to that application and enable it. And after that, once you create your account, just disable it after that. Because just for creation, it is required. After that, for in, in future, let's example, whenever you get some bill after 12 months, then it's not required to pay those bills. Just for creation account, it's just required. And you don't need to enable for thousands of rupees. Just for 10 rupees, enable it. So they, because they want to deduct two rupees. Okay. And then disable okay. it. Okay. 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 What you want? Yes, yes. Easiest option is do it by yourself from their mobile app. Rather than calling a customer guy, and I don't think so. They are doing from their customer, and I'm not sure about that. But yes, from mobile banking, we can do that, or from internet banking, we can do that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. And so they will they, I mean, detect some amount, right? I mean, two rupees. That... Yes. Two, two rupees, rupees, and that two rupees you will get a refund from their side. Okay. Just for card verification, they are deducting two rupees. That you will get a refund. Usually, we'll get a refund within 10 15 minutes, but Still, they are saying that they are refund in three to five days. Okay. Okay, no issue. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Anyone have any more question? Okay. No question. Now, whenever we are creating our Azure account, in our Azure account, we have something called Marketplace. Now, what is this Marketplace we have? Marketplace is the place where we can see all the Azure services, whichever we have in Azure, we can see there. Or whatever the third-party companies have done tie up with Azure, we can see it's like complete like an online store we have in Azure. So let's go to marketplace. Here I'm at. And it's not mandatory to go to every time to go to marketplace to search that particular Azure service. You can directly search from the search box also. You can search that service whichever you want to work on it. So here I'm able to see some recommendations from their side to me now if i go with scroll down here here i'm getting based on the category wise 
So let's just go, I'll go with the compute option. Under compute is showing me all right now. Whichever they have. Tie-ups or Azure service, it is showing all to me. If you just only want to see Azure services, check this checkbox. So under compute, whatever the Azure services we have, now only we are able to see here. Same way with database storage. So these are the storage services we have in Azure. So we are able to see all. Or I've already told you it's not mandatory to always come to marketplace and go to that service. Like I just want to go with the database. So I can just search here MySQL. Directly, I can search MySQL database. So you have both the option. You can go to marketplace also, or you can directly search that particular service to on which you want to work. This is the best option. Directly, you can search here. But yes, we have a marketplace where we can see all the Azure services, whichever we have, we can see it here related to their category. Now, next thing. subscription part. Now, whenever we are creating subscription, sorry, account, automatically we'll get the subscription. Automatically we are getting. And whenever your account is new, that time you will get a free trial subscription from their side. And whenever we are creating our account, we'll get something called tenant. This is something called tenant we get. How we get, check this tenant. In Azure, we have a service called Entra ID. Here it is, it's showing me Entra ID. You can search here Entra ID. Entra ID earlier called as Azure Active Directory. So might be you have heard about a name called Active Directory. Entra ID now has been renamed as Entra ID. In my course content, it is still mentioned as Active Directory. I didn't change the name in my course content. Let me show you the course content. See here, Azure Active Directory. Now this Active Directory is renamed as Entra ID. So this has been renamed from Azure so Active Directory to Entra ID. So here I'm getting Entra ID. And here is my tenant. Tenant is also called as primary domain. So here is my tenant. This is the ID. This is tenant. This is very important for us because whenever we are creating our account, this is the first thing which we have here. So the first thing we have in our Azure, because whatever the work we are going to do, it is going to do under our tenant ID. Because the subscription which I have, that subscription is coming under our tenant ID. 
And right now the tenant ID, which I'm able to see here, this is tenant, it's a default one. This particular tenant ID, tenant ID, they have created with the help of the email ID, which I'm using right now. I'm using email ID AWS batch 87 at the rate gmail.com. So you can see here AWS batch 87 gmail. So based on that email ID, they have created this tenant. We can create our own tenant also. How to create our own tenant? We will discuss in upcoming session. And whenever we want to create more users in this particular Enter ID service, we have an option. We can create users. Here I have users option. So whenever we want to create user, this tenant ID is required. You will see this practically once we come to this particular service called Enter ID. It is mandatory. Now, so under our tenant, we got the subscription and it can be possible your client will have multiple subscriptions. They can buy the subscriptions also. If your client want to buy some subscriptions, we have an option, add option. They can buy the subscription. They can contact to Azure. They can make an agreement in that way also that they'll get free resources. These are what we are getting here. Or if you are a student of any university, you can use your university email also. Then you will get this also free. But yes, for this one, no card is required. But if you are using your personal email ID, I've already told it like earlier, a few minutes before also, you can use any of your personal email ID you can use. It can be Gmail, Outlook, any of your personal email ID you can use. Yahoo, you want to use Gmail, Outlook, use your personal, don't use your official email IDs. So you can use it. In that case, you will get a 200 credit, $200 credit. But yes, if you are using our university emails, then you will get a credit of $100. For 30 days, you will get it from their side. And in this case, no card is required. No credit card, no debit card is required. So you can, if you have, if you are a student, you can use those also. So like this, they can add multiple subscriptions in their Azure account. Now, and under our subscription, what we are going to do is we are going to create our resources. So right now, what we are going to do is start our training. We will discuss about this part. So we have subscription under our subscription. I'm going to create resource group. Don't worry. We'll discuss it. What is a resource group? We'll create resource group and under our resource group, we'll start creating some of the resources. So this part right now we are going to start above part about this entry ID service and tenant. We will discuss once we, once we reach to this particular service called Entra ID. So right now, we are not going to discuss about this above part. That we'll discuss later once we reach to service. We'll discuss this particular part. So these are the sub type of subscriptions we can get. Free trial, pay as you go, support subscription. This can be purchased by the companies. So they'll get a huge discount from their side. Right now in my Azure account, I have this one, pay as you. But once you are creating first term account, you will get free trial subscription. Now, any question anyone have, please. Raise your hand.
यस उंट Right now, the account which you are going to create, that's root account. That's what okay. I said. That in our Entra ID service, we have an option called we can create users. So with okay. users, we are creating users for our employees. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in our organization, we are not going to get this root account access. They'll create our okay. users, and that particular with the help of those users, we are going to work on it. No, I have the SU account also, but the point is that. Uh, do do I need to uh, ask for them to provide me the separate account so that uh, for the taxes or something? That or you need to check know? in your organization. I am I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about those things that your company is providing you for a practice purpose or not. I don't know. Or, with, with this uh, pay as you go is better uh, option. Like uh, with, uh, you will go with our uh, Hotmail account or something like that. We can create your personal account also. Yeah. Okay. That will be easy for you to practice because I don't know that yeah. it happens okay. with some of student they have asked it I don't know they get or not so you need to check in your organization they are providing or not for a practice purpose so check with your organization. Thank you. Thank they are provided you can use those one if not then you need to create your own account and even some if they are provided you might be they restrict you some things so you can't practice all the things so you will get start getting error messages. When you're doing exactly, that, exactly, exactly. I okay. tried some, but uh, but uh, uh, we are getting some errors. So, so it, it means you don't have restrict, you don't have the access to yes. practice. Full, full, full access. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah. you need to check now. You need to go with your company account, or you can create your own. Okay. Thank that you, is your call. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyone have any more question? Okay, no question. So now we are going to discuss about our first of the Azure service called virtual machine. Okay, anyone can tell me what is virtual machine? Anyone? Got a sir? General tech terminology we are using right now. There's nothing new we are using. Yes, Sanjay. Okay, virtual machine is a kind of machine uh, which we create on the uh, server, which will, which is access like a server only, and uh, we can uh, create multiple uh, virtual machines, and mm. which is used for the services like BSCP. And a domain controller and other services you can see that, or on one server you can create more than like hundred virtual machines, and they can all work like a different different roles and the responsibilities of the servers. So it depends upon the. Okay, you are, you are going in much more depth, Sanjay. So whatever you said, that is correct. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so whatever the Sanjay has said, that is hundred percent correct. So what is virtual machine is? It's like a server, virtual server. Like I have this particular laptop. I want to create this type of with the same configuration. One more computer I want to build. I want to build one computer, but right, I don't want to build this computer in my machine. I can do it in my machine also just by installing this VMware and then I can under my computer, I can create one more computer here. But I want to create that particular computer, that particular machine on Azure infrastructure. And I want to access that particular computer, the machine which I'm going to create 
and I want to access from any part of the world. So what we can do it is we can create a virtual machine. Virtual machine is like a virtually server which we are going to create on Azure infrastructure. And we can create this particular virtual machine for any of the reason. You want to install your application. You want to build any application, anything, whatever you want to build on that machine or you want to install anything, you can do that. It's like a normal computer to you. But that particular computer you are going to access by using some tools. Like if you want to access Windows machine, you need to take a help of remote desktop connection. In our local machine, we already have a remote desktop connection. With the help of this, you can connect to that particular Windows machine. So how to do, we will practically learn in upcoming sessions. And here are the few of the operating system which supports in Azure, Ubuntu, Windows, definitely Windows going to support, Red Hat, CentOS, Debian, and Oracle. So these are the few operating system which supports in Azure to create our virtual machine. So right now I'm going to create a Windows machine. In our upcoming session, we are going to create a Linux machine also. Now, to create a machine, first of all, I need to log into my Azure account, which I have already done. Now go to virtual machine service. In my account, it is showing here, but might be in your account, it is not showing you in the above, but these are recently visited services in my account. It is showing those to me. But might be in your account, it is not showing you the virtual machine. It will show you something else. So here we have a search option. In search option, you can search virtual machine. So I have just typed VI. Just click on that. I don't have any virtual machine. So by default, there is no virtual machine we are getting. No service we are getting from Azure side. Click on create Azure virtual machine. Now, to create our resources, it is mandatory to first select our subscription. And you can see here, by default, Azure has selected the subscription. The subscription which I have, by default, I'm able to see that particular subscription. If you have multiple subscription, then you need to select that subscription here. But if you have just only one, that particular subscription automatically system is going to select. And it is mandatory to select subscription because if you see here, this is star mark. So wherever you see this star mark, it means those fields are mandatory field. Wherever star mark is not there, you can leave those fields. And right now, this is our first time we are learning few of these service. We are just starting it. So I'm just focusing only on the star options. We have few more options which are not star. So right now, I'm not going to discuss about those options. And I'm going to leave those options as a default option. Then few of the options I'm going to leave as it is default. I'm not going to do any changes. Slowly, slowly, we will learn about those options also because it is not possible for me to teach you every option in one single session. And even it is not possible for you guys to understand every option in one single session. So regarding those options, we'll slowly, slowly move forward. So the first thing is we need to select our subscription, which system has already done for us. Next thing. Next thing is we need a resource group. You can see I don't have any resource group. Now this is important. Without resource group in Azure, you can't create any of the resources. Resources means service. So I can say resource group is like a centralized location 
where I can see all the resources whichever we have created in Azure. So this is the proper definition I have. It's a container that holds related resources for an Azure solution. So this is like one container and under that particular container, we are going to store our resources. So if you want to see one centralized location, if you want to check all the resources, whichever you have in Azure, you can go to resource group and you can see one single location. Now, resource group can only exist in resource group. Resources can only exist in resource group. That's what I said. To create resources, it is mandatory to have resource group. Without resource group, you can't create any of the resource in Azure. This is the first thing. After subscription, this is the first thing is you need to select resource group. Resource group cannot be renamed. So once you create your resource group, you can't change the name of your resource group. And it can be any name. It's not mandatory to give any some name. It can be any name you can give. But yes, it needs to be a unique name under your account. Under your own account, it can be any name. Groups can have resources of many different types. Different type means like I can create a virtual machine also here under this resource group. I can create database also I can enter this. I can create virtual network also. I can create storage also. So in one single resource group, I can create different, different type of services. Like I have this particular folder. In this folder, I have a different, different types of files. I have a text file also. I have a JPG file also. I have a PEM file also. I have a PPK file also. I have a HTML file also. So in one single folder, I have a different, different types of files. Same way in the resource group, you can create different, different types of Azure services. Groups can have resources from many different regions also. Now this is important. This is usually we are not going to do in our organizations also. And even while practice also, we are not going to do that. But this can be an interview question. Now, whenever we are creating a resource group, we need to select one region. Region means in which data center I want to create this particular resource group. Let's take example. I have created a resource group in region East US. But I want to create a virtual machine in West US2. Is it possible? Can I do that? Our resource group in this region and our virtual machine is this region. Yes, it is possible we can do that. But it's not a good practice to do those things. But it is possible. Our resource group is in different region and our resource is in different region. So it is possible. Why it is not a good practice? Because with the help of this, the performance of our Azure service is going to reduce. It impact our performance. But we don't want to be compromised with the performance in organization. So that's why we are not going to use these things, but it is possible. Now, any question anyone have regarding the resource group, please let me know. Yes, Navi. Uh I mean, uh, let's say uh, we are serving for it, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, US client and we are getting a multiple uh, VDIs, right? So in this case, oh, sorry, we have- yeah, Sorry, sorry, sorry. What is multiple, what can you repeat again? What you have said, multiple? Uh, multiple, uh, we, I mean, uh, number of VDIs we are creating in this case. So the groups may be different, right? 
Yeah, it can. We can different different group or region specific. We can create groups. Okay, so uh, so can have different. So in in this case, right? Let, let's say there are uh, one group can be. I mean, uh, so there are different groups, but in the different groups and different regions also, right? Because one group have India, one group have a uh, US. Yeah, and different. because whenever we are creating a group, the first thing we need to select is the region. Yes, we need to select. Mm -hmm. it, yes, it is possible. Correct. Okay, so as you said, right? Uh, it, it's like uh, I mean, uh, I mean, don't create. Uh, I mean, uh, different regions, the same group uh, kind of thing. So it's like how we're going to uh, affect the performance. So anyhow, uh, it's like uh, in background something. The I mean, some patches or something need to be run in uh, according to time zone. What for what we're creating? What how is going to affect the our uh, groups? Maybe I'm confusing you. What I'm trying to say is. Let's say you created a, a group uh, under the region of India, okay? And yeah. you mix the US and India. So, like when you created a group for region India, that's, that's like uh, in the Indian times, all the patches of the background, uh, I mean, what are the all things will be active and once is then it's not active, something like that? No, it's not like that. It's actually not mm -hmm. documented anywhere in the Azure that it is going to impact the performance. This is mm -hmm. I'm telling you as per the experience, as per my experience, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is not mentioned anywhere. Uh -huh. you, if you uh -huh. read Azure documentation, they are definitely, they are not going to tell these things that uh -huh. with the help of this, the performance is going to impact. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But I'm telling you as per my experience. So that is why I didn't see anywhere of the client is going with these things. Okay. No, no, no. I, I do understand at, at present, right? I mean, the recommend and the redness phase. This also we selected a different regions according to as you said is correct only. I'm not denying that. Just try to understand because I think something background because when I select a region here US and ability option is ability zone, I believe that's how something background some badges or something into run. That's why we are doing that. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Archana. Yes, I see you can unmute. The resource groups, are they something that are inbuilt or is something that you create and you exist? By default, we don't have any resource group from Azure side. We need to create a new. If you have, you can see here. It is showing no available items. So by default, we are not getting any resource group from their side. Yeah, so if you want to create like a virtual machine or you want to create something that is in databases or you want to create something that is uh, storage. So First we need to create a source group. It's too small for this or if you have existing one, you can select existing one also. Okay. Alice, is it clear? Alice, are you able to hear me? I didn't quite get that, sir. I'm saying to create storage account or database or to create virtual machine, first we need to create resource group. Yeah, I'm saying so that my question was the resource groups, are they classified into those different different services? No, oh. in, no. In one single resource group, you can create different, different services. Like here I said that okay. a resource group can have resources of many different types. Services. Ah, okay. I can create a different different services in one single resource group. Okay, okay. I can create database, storage, virtual machine, IP addresses, anything, ah. whatever I want to create in one single resource group, I can create. I don't want to create for every service different resource group. No. Okay, so your resource group is your own personal creation, is not from the Azure. No, it is from Azure. It is under Azure resource group. It is not in my local machine. It is under Azure. Yeah, I'm saying that anything you create there, give in any name for your resource group, it will yeah, be Yeah, any so, name. The only okay. thing it needs to be unique under your Azure account. Okay. Under your Azure account, like I, you want to create two resource groups. So that name needs to be unique under your Azure account. Okay. You have yeah. used the same name. I can use the same name also. But in my account, it needs to be unique. Okay. So are we are we going to get the, the slides? Sorry? Are we are we going to get the slides? The slides? Yes. 
I'm uploading these slides, whatever what the PPTs I'm going to use it. Every day I'm going to upload in our websites. Okay. In last session, I have just used only one single PPT that is already uploaded. In today's session, I am using these few PPTs. So I'm going to upload these PPTs once we complete this session. Okay. And you are not getting PPTs, you'll get in the form of PDF. I'm going to convert into a PDF that I'm going to share with you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Deepak. Yes, Deepak, you can unmute. Uh, actually, uh, my question is about virtual machines. In Azure, yeah. we can create a virtual machines. And uh, also in VMware, we can also create a virtual machine. What is the difference in, in between that? VMware, first we need to install it. Like VMware, I need to install it. And here, I don't need to install VMware. Directly, I can create a virtual machines on Azure servers. And in VMware, we are allocating the space from our machine. Like that first, uh, let's say example, in my machine, I have a 16 GB of RAM. From that 16 GB, I, I'm allocating some of the RAM to that machine. Am I right, Deepak? Yeah. But here, we don't, we don't need to do those things. We don't need to give the... Mm, RAM from some uh, something else directly, the specific one we are allocating to that machine. Okay, with okay. VMware and this virtual machine having a better performance. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, Sanjay. Uh, okay, Ankit, uh, just want to know more about the resource group. What objective this resource group have, and uh, like uh, CPU, uh, storage, memory, and what other things we have in the resource group? Sorry, the resource group is a kind of container. I just want to know more about the resource group. What exactly? We have in the resource group that what we are right now. I don't have a resource group. If I go to resource group, I don't have any. So once I create the resource group under a resource group, I can create resources. Okay. Like I want to create storage account. To create store, like here I have a storage account. Let me show you that. I'm going to click on create to storage account. See what is the first thing they are asking me to select. They are again asking me to select a resource group. So whenever we want to create any resource in Azure. Mm -hmm. The first thing we need to select a resource group. So resource group like that, I say that it's like a container, like a folder. Under that folder, I'm going to put all my resources. Okay. But it does not have any like uh, CPU, memory. No, no. Hard disk. No. Well. It's just like a container to us. Okay. So under that particular one, we are going to, it's not a virtual machine. So mm -hmm. we need to allocate some space. Resource group is not a virtual machine. It's like a, just a folder. It's a centralized location where I can see all my Azure resources. Okay. okay. Like I want to see all the resources in one single go, whatever the resources I have, 100, 500. This is the only place where I can see all the resources. Yeah. So it is kind of a, you can just uh, mention like it is kind of a location base. Yes, correct. Like uh, a centralized yeah. location where I can see all my resources. Yeah, just I just put the Delhi, Madras, Calcutta, Bombay, four kind of resources groups. And then I, I create another uh, other things under the same, same uh, like VMs we allocate on it, the particular uh, resource groups. Is it like that? Or correct, yes. Different? Like for different, different regions, I have the resource group for every different, okay. different. I want to see one is India, one I have, one is for US, one is for Australia. So I want to see Australia resources I have all. So I can come here in resource group. I can open that specific resource group. I'll see all the Australia resources. I can open okay. India one. I can see all India resources. I can see US one. I can see all US resources. So it's one single location where I can see all the resources. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Reno. Hello. Yes, Reno. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I am able to hear. Oh, you. okay, okay. So, Ankit, I can't see the PPTs in the PDF form in the email. I was trying. We to are not that. emailing you. We are uploading in the website. We are not going to email to each and every student. It's not possible. So that is why we are uploading no, no, in no, our website. No, we are getting we are getting one automatic email, right? To the everyone, just to one. No emails. You are not, you are not going to share on emails. Okay, I would. Uh, we, uh, we, we are email. uploading in our website. So here okay. is a two seventy six batch. Okay, fine. So day one, uh, on day one, whatever the PDF we have used, I have used that one is uploaded under uh, introduction. Okay. Here is it. Okay. So in this introduction okay. section, I have uploaded. So I'll create one more section today. As per the today one, I'll upload those also. Okay, thank you so much. And one more question. So hmm. the timing will be like uh, till five. Uh, it's uh, six to seven, like uh, six to seven, right? Uh, or we will extend extend it. Uh, Start on time is always six p.m. Okay. And time can be depend on your questions. Okay. Might be if you if you have if you guys have few questions, so I need to complete those also. So okay. might be we'll go for 10, 15 minutes. Might be possible we can go for it. Okay. Okay. That time you. is always six p.m. IST. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yes, Neeraj. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, my question is like, uh, can we create multiple resource groups or uh, is it limited to yes. one talent? You can create multiple. There is no limit. Like just few minutes before I was asked, my, asking the student also. Like for India, there is one resource group. Oh. For Australia, there is one. US, there is one. So there is no limit we have for those things. Uh, all right. All right. Thanks. Yes, Naveen. Uh, I can see the PPT, but where I can see the recording also in the website, I've already, already logged in. Just a minute. Did you pay for the course? Uh, no. Right. no. So once you pay for the course, once you log into your website, our mm -hmm. website, once you pay for the course, you will see one option. Or oh, even you didn't pay it, you will see an option called dashboard. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you click on the dashboard under your active courses, you will see the for the courses, whichever you have paid. Mm -hmm. Then you can access the notes and the recordings from our website. Okay, okay. Okay. Day one recording we have already shared to all in our WhatsApp community. And even day two recording also we are going to share to all of you in our community, in WhatsApp community. Yeah, I, I joined the WhatsApp community today only, but I didn't see any link so there. I mean, you can't see the previous uh, messages in the WhatsApp community. It's not possible to see. Okay, possible. Can you just uh, we'll, uh, inform, I'll inform my team, they'll share again. Sure. I'll inform them. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yes, Rajiv. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, the users which are subscriptions, no? So it is limited uh, for a free version. How, how many users can create it? Can create in the free version? No. You're talking about which users that under the subscription? No, 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 the, the subscription. I mean, you will get only one single subscription. Okay, okay. You will get so, only one. You don't need multiple subscriptions. You just need only one single subscription for your practice purpose. Okay. If I need two means, I need to add another subscription. You need to I buy the pay. subscription. Buy you the need subscription. to pay to pay first to issue. And you don't need to do those things for your practice purpose. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. The resource group, actually, this is a logical, right? Right. So if I have some other multiple clients, so I can create a vice versa the client claim name. So I can add the, the client, what, what we are supporting the client, like Raji. VMs. Sorry to interrupt you. Every client have their own URL. Yeah. yeah. All clients no. are not going to use one single URL account. Yeah, that I understood, sir. Thank you. Uh, the resource group I am talking now. Uh, the resource group is logical, correct? So we can add uh, VMs, uh, database, uh, the any anywhere, anything uh, uh, sorry, services. Okay. So yes. for the resource group, it is a logical name, correct? Can be any name. It's physically yeah, it's we are going to create it, but yes, it can be any name. Yeah, yeah, it's it can any, be. any name. So like folder, yeah, fine. Thanks. Thank yes. You. Yes, needed. Yeah, sorry. So just one more question in continuation, like with the previous question. So uh, can we access someone else's resource group, like a uh, different Azure accounts resource group? No, not possible. Okay. okay there okay. is no option, sharing option we don't have. 
All right. Anyone have any more question? Please let me know, or I can end the session here. In next session, we are going to learn about how to create a Windows virtual. We have just discussed about what is resource group. So in the next session, in the this we are going to learn about how to create a resource group and how we can create a virtual mesh under this resource group. Yes, Anjan. Yes, I would like to know uh, if, if you go through the labs which you uh, provide, we have to uh, do it through our own account or you will provide? Uh, no, you yes. need to create your account. No? Like a few minutes yeah. before also we were discussing it that you want no, your, no. from your company. No, no. That, that, that is okay. That is, uh, we are doing. What I'm saying, when you uh, we are going through this process, do we have uh, any uh, like uh, Generic, like okay, uh, uh, logic, uh, logic lab one, two, three, four, five. We are like 10 people here. We all got a that uh, accounts, and then we we all 10 people are doing something on it, something like that. Is, is there? No, I understand what you're trying to say. The Regarding which, you, for practice the purpose, you, 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 you are your own practice, you are not going to coordinate with any other for a practice purpose. No, no. The lab which you you provide that's what I'm asking. I'm just uh, you. I'm you're talking about notes. No, no. The labs which you you will provide on the Azure. Do we have any lab classes for the Azure? You whatever I am, whatever I'm teaching, you need to just practice those things. Okay. And okay. you need to practice your own. You are, you are not going to. We are not going to create any teams for those things or groups for practice purpose. No, oh, okay. you need to practice your okay. own. You can do that whenever you have doubt. You can email me or you can ask in the next session before starting of the session. You can ask the questions. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Vikram. Yeah. Hi, Ankit. Hi. Yeah. Before any basic knowledge we have, just a basic Linux knowledge is required to work on any of the cloud platform. And that's a part of our course content. Only Linux. Basic Linux, yes, is required. Basic Linux. And that to work for any of the cloud. It's Azure or it's a Google Cloud or AWS Cloud. Any of the cloud, basic Linux, Linux is required. And that's part of our course content. No, we want learning any networking. No. Okay. What are the basics is required? We are going to discuss here. We totally or to teach the class here. Sorry? But totally explain the total basic classes. Whatever is required, we are learning. That's what I say. Basic Linux is required, and even that's a part of course content. So to learn, join this course, nothing is prerequisite. Yeah, okay. Uh, what, what about the present market? Which you want to know? For you are from which country? No, India. Okay. Like if you might be remember in the last session, I said that I even I've shown you the graph also to you guys. What was the position in 2021? What is the position in 2022? And what is the current position in 2023? We have Azure has captured a more market than any other platform right now. The reason is it's cheaper than other cloud. And they are having more regions than any other cloud. Azure is having 56 region. AWS is having 33 regions. Highest they have. They have a better connectivity than any other cloud platforms also. That's why it is cap capturing more market. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So look like uh, yes, Sanjay. Okay, when I'm going for the payment, it is asking for the ID and password. Yes, you so need this to. ID password is provided you to, by you? Or? No, no, no. You need to create your own account by using your no, personal email ID. No, I have my own account. And uh, so the UPI I am paying now. So I'm mm -hmm. just checking that uh, it is asking the ID and the password. So that is what I want to know. That it no, is, you, uh, you are, is, is asking you to log into your account with our in our website. 
okay so like you okay can log in to our website by using your directly by using google okay e gmail okay 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 then or then sign i will up okay 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 to make the payment first you need to log in so how we know that for which specific email id we are going to assign that payment details okay i got okay that's why you need to log in first okay okay so first make sure you create your account then start making the payment okay yes navin uh, sorry i may be the last one uh, until we pay the uh, i mean uh, the fees for this course right we can't accept any ppt or any recording mm, that's what recording so you will get for day 1 day 2 day 3 notes mm -hmm. you can't access notes okay. is only for the paid candidates okay but recording also in, in the whatsapp chat whatsapp group only am i day correct day 1 day 2 day 3 only okay okay only day till day 3 you will get and from day 5 only to paid candidates and after day 5 only paid candidates can continue this trip yeah no problem means at after least day 5 we'll change the link no problem at least for till the day 3 right if you can put in whatsapp that will be yeah, great yeah we are going to put no i need to confirm that okay we are going to put it yeah day 1 day 2 day 3 recording will put in the whatsapp group it's all okay. going to upload in our youtube channel and that youtube channel link we are going to share okay bye thank you okay have a nice day bye bye Thank you. Okay, so look like no one has any more questions. So with this, I'm going to end the session here, and we don't have any session for next two days because Saturday Sunday we have Monday to Friday. So the next session we have it on nineteenth of February. So now you have two days. If you have any doubt, you can please email. We didn't learn actually anything new uh, till now, so you can practice it. but in monday session we are going to start learning something new so you can start practicing from your monday also yes ls you can unmute so monday is it going to be 6 pm eastern time us in the evening or is it going to I'm be morning i'm not sure about eastern time sorry i have i don't know about what is eastern time as per cst it will be 6:30 am you can please convert it from cst to est i don't know yeah, what i was seeing 6 pm in the evening in, in 6 pm ist indian IST. standard time this is indian standard time this is cst time zone so there is no evening time us no right now i, I don't have any plans to start at evening time as per us time mix no oh my god no no plans because recently i have completed one of the batch last month for evening batch i have already completed so that's why now i have changed to shift to morning as per us time i have a plan to start evening batch but that is azure devops not azure admin and that i'm going to start after 10th of march because the time zone is going to be changed so then i'm going to start azure professional to is there azure professional or is this one is there azure professional there is no azure professional course we have Anything course in the market, there is no course called as professional. There so is course called as Azure, Azure admin course. Azure admin expert level courses there, but to go with expert level, you need to have associate knowledge first. So I'm asking that is there something like advanced Azure? Or it is expert called? level. Expert. Expert level is yes called as, but to learn expert level, you need to have associate knowledge first. Okay. Okay. You can't directly go with the expert level, because if you directly go with expert level, you can't understand the basics. Because in that one, you will they are not teaching anything basics. So that's why it's a prerequisite is one. You can see here. Here is it. Here we have. This is expert one. So to go with this one, this is prerequisite. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you for joining today's session. Have a happy weekend. See you on Monday. Thank you.